Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I'm April Beam with BeamPublishing.net, and we're talking with new author Kathy Hacking um, from kathyhacking.com and her new book, Tapping Into Financial Freedom, Clear the Confusion and Promote Your Prosperity Using Emotional Freedom Techniques. How did I do on the subtitle? Good job. <laughs> That's a really yeah. long title. <laughs> I can never remember my own. But so um, Kathy is a new author. And um, uh, as a publisher, I've been I've been publishing my own books since 2011. And I've published for other authors as well. And um, the one thing, one of the things that I have noticed is when it comes time to publish the book, and in particular on the day when the book is promoted and, and made available to the public, um, there seems to be a bit of meltdown emotionally <laughs> that happens with most of my authors, myself included. Um, and it doesn't seem to matter how many times I publish a book for somebody else or myself, I still, I still freak out a little bit because it's very vulnerable. And so I wonder, Kathy, if you'd be willing to talk about your vulnerability in being seen by so many people. I want to begin with, this is a thing I've been working on gradually. Um, we're back to, I'm so glad I was introduced to emotional freedom techniques early on in my career as a healing practitioner and um, I'm also a universal life church minister, um, that tapping helped me be able to talk to people, be able to be in front of a group. And so I kind of accidentally figured out that I could keep tapping um, for this topic of being seen, uh, receiving criticism, because my first video that I recorded for YouTube was on how to tap. And I was so full of nerves until we got started. And then because I was tapping while I was sharing about how to tap, it calmed me down. <laughs> and so that was probably the single biggest thing that brought me to where I could speak to people. Um, I'm second of six children and my dad was bipolar. And so a lot of what happened in my home was his law, right? He was right. Even if it was the complete opposite of what he had said the day before, he is the right person. Um, so I learned to shut up, <laughs> right? Um, and just bite my tongue and, you know, go hide is a really good choice, <laughs> right? And so having grown up that way, I definitely took that into my marriage. I definitely continued being that very small, quiet person. Even when I had, you know, brilliant things to say, I would not say it um so this process 20 years later um writing a book definitely hit a different layer of things for me um I had something similar to this when I first published my own website as far as like people I have never met might find it and then what <laughs> But that's the point. You're supposed to publish a website so people can find you. But I had another layer of it the first time I, I created like a trifold brochure and I was going to put them out places to be distributed in the community and had a panic attack for like, but wait, I won't be standing right there to clarify for someone what I meant. And, and so, yep. Yeah. We had another layer, another layer, another layer, in particular with the book, because it took a good six months of work to 
create all the pages and you know sort and rearrange and shape it um I did not realize how much it felt like birthing an actual baby um, <laughs> and so then you know right at the last minute as a mom I have birthing history and I have trauma from experiences I've been through with my children and so that was the really eye-opening thing is that I needed to attend to my unresolved birth story things to get clear about this project, to get congruent and available for this to do well. Um, <laughs> so yes, it was far more complicated than I ever imagined it was going to be. And I've moved through it with so much more grace and I really got to apply my tools and realize I have tools now I didn't have 20 years ago, 23 years ago when my daughter was born. Oh, I don't know if I've ever sat down to tap about the experience of her birth. Oh, I should do that. This is still in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, it, so, yeah, I mean, having a, publishing a book is a lot like, having a baby um, uh, it is out there for everyone to see and just like your website and your brochure from back in the 90s or something I don't know or early 2000s um, yeah uh, yeah you, the whole point is to be found and to be seen but those of us that aren't ready to be seen on maybe our self-esteem is too low or we're feeling like we don't have the value or the worth that we would like to have. But being having a spotlight, a spotlight shined upon you at that, all of a sudden, it, instead of instead of that being a nice, warm, lovely light, it feels more like evil scrutiny sometimes, it right? It can feel very harsh and very cold. Um, and I would say also, right, the background noise that kicked up was really old energy, things mm. that I haven't had a reason to think of for a long time. And I got to remember, oh, this used to be like the tape that played all day, every day. I'm so <laughs> glad I haven't played this tape forever, but now it's time to uninstall the tape. It's time to actually clear that out so it won't kick online again. <laughs> So can you give us an example with the tapping? Like how could you, how can you make yourself feel more comfortable when your book is published or you're suddenly receiving a lot of attention? Uh, so the tapping, you always start with a setup phrase. Okay. Um, so we'll go generic and see how we go. So repeat after me, side of the hand, even though. Even though. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm not sure that this is going to go well. I'm not sure this is going to go well. I know someone loves me. I know someone loves me. I might have to think for a minute. Might have to think for a minute. To remind myself. To remind myself. That I am loved. That I am loved. Because I've been hyper fixated. Because I've been hyper fixated. On all the things that can go wrong. On all the things that can go wrong. I've been fixated. I've been fixated. On the fear. On the fear. And I know. And I know. There are people who will be proud of me no matter what. There are people who will be proud of me no matter what. Beginning of the eyebrow. This is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> Side of the eye, so much change. So much change. Happening so fast. Happening so fast. Under the eye, I don't know when I'll be ready. I don't know when I'll be ready. Under the eye, I don't know if I'll ever be ready. I don't know if I'll ever be ready. On the chin point, deep breath. It's easier to postpone. 
it's easier to postpone. Collarbone, I'm having a freak out. I'm having a freak out. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Under the arm, I've put this off for a lot of years already. I've put this off for a lot of years already. What's another week or month? What's another week or month? Top of the head, I'm not ready right now. I'm not ready right now. Beginning of the eyebrow, I haven't done enough to get ready. I haven't done enough to get ready. Side of the eye, there are too many things I haven't done yet. There are too many things I haven't done yet. Under the eye, there's more, maybe I did it wrong. There's more, maybe I did it wrong. Under the nose, I need to go recheck the things I already did. <laughs> I, I need to recheck all the things I already did. <laughs> On the chin point, maybe when I rechecked it, I changed it and now it's wrong. Well, what she said. <laughs> maybe <laughs> I said, messed it up. Maybe I'll mess it up. Collarbone, I don't want to publish. I don't want to publish. Because then I'll see errors after it's in print. Because then I'll see errors after it's in print. Under the arm, that's terrible. That's terrible. Because everyone will see where I messed up. Everyone will see where I messed up. Top of the head, this isn't just a quiet thing. This isn't just a quiet thing. With a couple people witnessing. With a couple people listening. This is failing loudly. This is failing loudly. Side of the eye, I'm putting time and energy. I'm putting not time and energy. Under the eye, into all of this. Into all of this. So the whole world can see me mess up. So the whole world can see me mess up. <laughs> Under the nose, oh my God. Oh my God. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why did I say I wanted to do this? Why did I say I wanted to do this? <laughs> Collarbone, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is egocentric. It's egocentric. This is egocentric. This I should write a book. That I could write a book. Under the arm. <sighs> just, just exhale. Ahead. It's a lot. It's a lot. Beginning of the eyebrow. I'm really good at stressing. I'm really good at stressing. Side of the eye. I've been so stressed. I've been so stressed. Under the eye. I'm stressing out the people around me. I'm stressing out the people around me. <laughs> Under the nose. My stress <laughs> is contagious. My stress is contagious. On the chin point, this is a bad idea. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Collarbone. Ooh. 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 <laughs> what were you thinking, girl? <laughs> okay. Okay. Top of the head. Deep breath. Ooh. I've wanted to write for a long time. I've wanted to write for a long time. Beginning of the eyebrow. I've had this knowing. I've had this knowing. Side of the eye. I've had this niggling. I've had this niggling. This pressure. This pressure. Under the eye. Some days. Someday. It even feels like a calling. It even feels like a calling. Under the nose, it won't leave me alone. It won't leave me alone. Chin point, over and over again. Over and over again. I've had this knowing. I've had this knowing. That I have books to write. That I have books to write. Collarbone. I keep hearing all these messages. I keep hearing all these messages. That give me this idea. That give me this idea. You should write that book. You should write that book. 
under the arm. I did it. I wrote the book. I did. I wrote the book. Part of that next step, though, is publishing. Part of that next step, though, is publishing. Top of the head. I know there are people that write books and never publish. I know there are people that write books and never publish. Beginning of the eyebrow. I have stuff to say. I have stuff to say. Side of the R. It was important enough. It was important enough. That I spent months getting it written. That I spent months getting it written. Under the eye. I was willing to invest. I was willing to invest. Under the nose. I thought I had something to say. I thought I had something to say. I felt there were things to say. I felt there were things to say. Collarbone. I even enjoyed doing the writing. I even enjoyed doing the writing. Under the arm. I know I like to read other people's books. Oh, I like to read other people's books. Top of the head. I'm glad other people publish books. I'm glad other people publish books. Beginning of the eyebrow. I appreciate receiving their guidance. I appreciate receiving their guidance. Side of the eye. I appreciate being entertained. I appreciate being entertained. Under the eye. I don't like every book I read. I don't like every book I read. Under the nose. The library is full of books. The library is full of books. Some of them I will never read. Some of them I will never read. Collarbone. Not every book is for every person. Not every book is for every person. Under the arm. There have been a few books. There have been a few books. That made me cry. That made me cry. There have been a few books that made me happy. There have been a few books that made me happy. There have been many books. There have been many books. That helped me grow. That helped me grow. Side of the eye. My book could be like that. My books could be like that. Under the eye. Maybe not for everyone. Maybe not for everyone. Under the nose. Maybe there are many people. Maybe there are many people. Who will never know about my book. Who will never know about my books. That could be okay. That could be okay. I'm not trying to make the whole world read my book. I'm not trying to make the whole world read my books. My books are for the people that need this content. My books are for the people that need this content. Under the arm, there are people who will cry. There are people who will cry. There are people who will be happy. There are people who will be happy. There are many people who will learn. There are many people who will learn. And there are many people who will grow because of my work. And there are many people who will grow because of my work. I am grateful for the work of other people. I am grateful for the work of other people. I am willing to give my gift to the world. I'm willing to give my gifts to the world. I am willing to find out. I'm willing to find out. Who will receive my work? Who will receive my work? I'm curious. I'm curious. How this will be to publish. How this will be to publish. Under the arm, I'm willing to find out what happens next. I'm willing to find out what happens next. Top of the head. It might even be enjoyable. It might even be enjoyable. I don't know about that. I've never done this. I don't know about that. I've never done this. But I'm willing to find out. But I'm willing to find out. And I'm willing for it to go well. And I'm willing for it to go well. Is that what you said? I was focused on fear. I was focused on fear. I was panicked. I was panicked. Collarbone. But there is a lot that could go very well. 
but there's a lot that could go very well. There are people who will be very grateful. There are people who will be very grateful. Top of the head, there are people. There are people. Who won't like my book. Who won't like my book. And that could be okay too. And that could be okay too. I meet people that don't like me. I meet people that don't like me? I meet people. What did you say? I, I meet people. I have met people that don't like me. Oh, I have met people that don't like me. Side of the eye, that's okay. That's okay. Under the eye, I have met people I don't like. I have met people I don't like. And I just move on. And I just move on. I can be okay. I can be okay. I can move on. I can move on. I have things to do. I have things to do. Like writing more books. Like writing more books. Whether or not people like what I have to say. Whether or not people like what I have to say. I am proud of what I have to say. I am proud of what I have to say. Ooh. <laughs> I am proud of my work. I am proud of my work. <laughs> There's a lot of energy in there, huh? Yeah, wow. <laughs> you are so good. I just put you on the spot with that. You didn't know I was sending that to you. <laughs> but it's honest. That's what I've been working through this the whole time. You <laughs> could like my book. Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> they could. Because in many ways, it's like a performance, right? That if you were getting up on the stage for a dance or uh, I was in the band for a long time, so concerts. But usually that was like a, right, an hour or two and then it's done. And now we've crossed over into this age of electronics and it's being recorded and it could be replayed for years. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> right? And so I've had to shift my own reality from the immediacy of how do I control this event into being perfect into the softer, wider vision of, I just need to show up. I, I get to share what I have to share. And that's what's perfect. That's what's beautiful. Um, versus right people pleasing trying to make everyone happy is not yeah. going to happen no no <laughs> <laughs> you can't please everyone and that's okay everyone's entitled to their opinion but you have a book to write and to publish and you did and I I suspect there will be more um, I hope there will be more you're very gifted and talented with this this is your calling I'm so glad that you published with with me and with theme publishing and I'm so grateful because this is I've said this to you before this will change lives if you if people watching this video if you read this book it will change your life you. um I'm very honored that I get to work with you like even just to do this and echo back it's just such a it's such a rewarding thing I hope people will use this um algorithm is that what it is it's a modality a modality Mm -hmm. Not the EFT, but the like what we just did it was like a recipe for oh, yes, uh, a tapping script. A tapping yeah. script. So I mm -hmm. hope people will like maybe watch this video over and over to like just do the tapping alone, regardless of whether you've published a book or not. But if you are thinking of publishing, yes, there does come with some vulnerability, but you can now use this technique to tap it out. Kathy has been so kind and generous to um, give this to us and Oh, wow, I, I really wish I had known this, you know, 13 years ago when I started publishing. <laughs> so that would be so nice. But I, I appreciate your vulnerability because it, there is a lot of scrutiny that comes with the attention and the spotlight. Yeah. And it can really scare people and cause them to have a freak out, a panic attack of sorts. And um, it's I just want everybody to know that it's very normal. I, I really don't know any author who has not felt that way. And I'm talking about New York Times bestselling authors. They have a panic attack as well. Like yeah. the most well-known people. So um, 
I recently listened to a couple of books by Kyle Cease, and he's really great for bringing in the humor about his own book throughout uh-huh. the book. Um, and so he was one of the authors that landed in a different way for the part of my brain that was searching for how can I possibly do this when, you know, I need to put all the punctuation in the right places. And I did not do well in English all through <laughs> school. It was one of my worst subjects. Like, huh? And then, right. So comedians, um, Kyle Cease in particular, was really a great contribution for my life. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Well, I got all A's in English all throughout my school years. So I love English. I love grammar. I love writing. um, So I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And so are you. So this is the perfect blend. You don't have to have had straight A's in English to be an author. (laughs) Not at all. That's what publishers are for. Get an editor and a publisher that will help you and work with you. And we clean it all up and we publish it. And I, there's probably some something in there that I have missed, but I hope not. Um, I tried really hard. And so, yeah. but inevitably, uh, there's usually something and somebody finds it. Right. Eagle eye though. Like when I go online and I see anything and I go, they didn't spell that right. Or they're missing a period or an, it's, I can't seem to stop myself from editing. So I just do that all the time. Um, But this is great. So again, everybody, kathyhacking.com slash financial hyphen freedom to get her money luck webinar um, and to go to, and also on that website, you get the links to click and go to Amazon and buy her books, or you can buy them anywhere online at any bookstore. This is one of the beauties of publishing on a different platform that we learned about together. And um, that's one of the beautiful things that happened is you taught me something new this time. So about a different platform. And um, it's it push it pushes it out everywhere. It is this global soft cover and global ebook. Um, but um, you can get it anywhere. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video about what it is like to freak out and how you can tap your way through it. Maybe that's a, the next book, Tap Your Way Through a Freak Out um, <laughs> with Catherine Hacking. And uh, thank you, Kathy, for being here. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, too. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.